beach walk. We didn't make it to the lighthouse um, the other night, so we came down and we are gonna try to make it down there before the sun sets tonight. And found a nice little patch of shells here at what I call the fresh rack line. So you can see this is kind of the, um, the old rack line, the high tide rack line, and then this is kind of the fresh one that it's left behind. Um, as the tide is going out and it is pretty crazy windy. Well, I'm gonna tell you it's funny. It's just around you. Shell bag is just blowing the wind. So we're gonna see if we find any cool shells as we walk along. Um, lots of seaweed and the water is really crazy rough still. Shelling should be, um, here's a really pretty giant hard cockle. The shelling should be really, um, really good in the upcoming, upcoming days when this wind dies down and when the waves settle. I'm sure that it's tossing a whole lot of shells around and I'm hoping that uh, when I can get back into that break line we're gonna have some really fun fun things to find okay we're getting closer and we are starting to see more shells so like if you guys can see over here like there wasn't a whole lot on the beach and then like all of a sudden here there's a ton of shells and this is where we start to kind of see a lot going on there's a little well cute little well there are got some barnacles on it but those will come off with um, a little dental pick or something sometimes they're nice to leave on And then here's a little pile. I don't know if this is a natural pile. Well, it might be because there's looks like there's a lot of larger shells kind of rolled around here. Um, I was gonna say sometimes people will kind of make a little pile themselves. This could be here's kind of a piece of a, a big tool up there. Another well hiding.
them unique. It makes them different. Kind of a fun little shell pile to go through. We're definitely starting to see more shells here. Up here in the rack line, you can see some shells are going to start to get caught up here. Fun little collection of barnacles. Look how fun that is. It's really cool. So we're gonna start to see a lot of activity here. I'm gonna kind of get down so you guys can see. you guys oh boy get out the shell bag get down so you guys can see we've got a pretty calm right here And there's just a lot of things that are washed up. So look at this big piece of a tulip here. That would have been a really pretty tulip. So let's see if we can find any super cool big shells. Here was a piece of a true tulip. That would have been a pretty one. And let's see. No, we're gonna find some. Feel it. I don't know what it is. Oh, here's a little, um, little lace mirax. So all of these shells are kind of hiding. Let focus. Kind of hiding. Like here, there's a whelk hiding in here. on the hunt in all of this seaweed because you never know what's hiding in all of this. I know that some people have found some pretty cool shells down here lately because they're rolling in with the seaweed. So we gotta keep our eyes peeled. So let's see what we can find. Neat, neat little find. A 
I'm not usually one to pick up bones, but if they're fossils or they're older bones, it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. But I don't pick up like pig feet or anything weird like that. <laughs> no, like, you know, pig femurs or anything like that. So, hunting, hunting. just not a shell that finds me, I guess. I love them. I just have a hard time finding them. So I did find one uh, a couple weeks ago. Or it might have been like a week and a half ago. I don't know what day it was. My days kind of all run together, but I know I wasn't filming. <laughs> I can tell you that. And we were on a beach walk. I don't even think I had a shell bag with me. And it was like the only shell I picked up that day. It was a beautiful, beautiful. Um, beautiful true tulip. Very nice. Look how big this piece of a horse cock is. This is like my favorite size of horse cock to find. I think it's the most rare. So like you see people pulling up like the giant horse cocks and you find people the kind that are like you know, the size of like your fist or the palm of your hand. I think those are so pretty and they're like in my opinion like the most uncommon size to find. Um, so there's certain shells though that like everybody has that they're you know they're their favorite shell or the most uncommon shell for them. I mean honestly I can tell you like for me I see people finding scotch bonnets like left and right. And I have found one scotch bonnet, if you even want to call it that. It wasn't completely whole. Well, it kind of was. It was damaged. And it was white and it was tiny and it had no pattern. It was literally like the sorriest excuse for a scotch bonnet ever. Um, but that's the only one I've ever found. And you know, and there's people that find these like scotch bonnets, like, you know, they're pennies on the sidewalk. And I'm just like, how are you guys finding these shells? So anyway, everybody has a shell that eludes them that they love. So let me know, what is your favorite shell to find? And what is a shell? Ooh, here's a really pretty Murex. So I want to know what's your favorite shell to find and then what's your shell that you wish you could find more of but you just can't seem to find them. They just hide from you. And I don't mean a Genonia because Genonias hide from all of us. But what is a shell that you, you really wish you could find more of? Whether it's a nutmeg or tulips or um, horse conks or... What is it that you love that you just, that people find them and you're just like, how come I can't find scotch bonnets for me? I just don't know how people find them and I can't find one to save my life. Um, and lion's paws too. I've never found a lion's paw. I have found one tiny fragment 
of a lion's paw to date in almost 40 years. <laughs> so that, those are the two shells for me, lion's paw and scotch bonnet that elude me and I cannot find them. So we are almost here, you guys, we are almost here to Lighthouse Point. We are in the land of shell piles here, like piles of shells that are being washed up. This is where I loved down shells, purple shells, and all of the scallops that are around. And this is kind of like the smaller um, shell area. So gotta get down, gotta get low, and check out. Ooh, look at this. Giant cockle. 
Holy cow, look another one here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so much. Okay, look, husband found some awesome shells today. He always does. Look at that beautiful olive. Look at the point on that. He found a beautiful tulip. Check out that beautiful white banded tulip. Woo! Gorgeous orange scallop. Look at the color on that scallop. Oh, look what came washing in, you guys. Look at this. Super pretty. Ginormous starfish. Look how cool. I'm going to flip him over. Oh, gently. So you guys can see his little feet moving. You guys see his little feet crawling around. There's just so many shells. So many. It is just so fun. And again, I know I like to like say this a lot, but it is true. It's not always like this, as you guys have seen. And it's not like this everywhere. It is not like this all the way down there. Probably the whole rest of the island is not like this. This is one area at the end of the island where all of this stuff is collecting direction of the winds are blowing and it's all accumulating down here so just keep that in mind when you come to shell and you come to visit and you're wondering you know, where are the shells the shells might not be where you are you might have to go and find shells you might have to go and walk you might have to go and drive to another beach um you might just have to go and, and find the shells because they might not be where you are. So just keep that in mind because I know that I know it can be frustrating. But this is not, we don't always have shell piles like this and I can tell you that the shell piles are usually on the other end. They're usually not here at Lighthouse. They're usually down at the other end at Blind Pass where Blind Pass, um, I mean Sanibel means Captiva. So that's where we usually see a ton of shell piles so this is also unusual to have these big shell piles here um, at lighthouse so keep that in mind too all right guys so this is around the turn so all of the waves are pushing this direction okay towards the east east southeast here okay and you can see the lighthouse right here so behind me is going to be Fort Myers Sun's setting over here in the west, and all of the shells are kind of washing up over here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys, like there's just so many shells. I mean, this is this is what we wait for. Okay, we really haven't had a storm per se, but this
this is what we wait for when we have these high winds. And there's just, there's so much. Like, I mean, this is just Scheller's heaven. And I'm just going to kind of pan so you guys can see. Some paper fig there. Some uraxes there. Look at all. Usually that's completely uncovered at Old Tide. You can see the Sanibel Causeway out there in the distance. And isn't this just so crazy with all of the shell piles? So when, when we have strong winds, you know, you've got to pay attention to where the wind is blowing. It's blowing away from here. There's a big big chunk of a tree tulip right here and it's blowing towards the west you know blind paths will be where to go and sometimes sometimes you can get underneath and get through I really don't see too much going on under there all here How fun. And of course the brake line, which you know it's it's 
really pretty rough and I really have like no visibility but I guarantee you that there are some insane shells right here in the brake line and if you had a sifter or you had a scooper with a handle on it um, this would be a really good place to to scoop I never recommend getting in the water here um, if you guys can see the waves are kind of coming this way and then they're coming this way so there's a lot of rip currents and rip tides here the bugs come out because we are literally right here at Lighthouse and we've got a little bit of a hike left to go so I'm gonna shell because this is gonna be awesome shells to send you guys in your beach treasure boxes so I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome video I will see you next time